everyone hope you are doing great and staying safe i'm back with another art journal video after a long break um i enjoyed the break a lot and it gave me a lot of ideas which you'll see coming up ahead in upcoming videos <laughs> so in today's journal i'm using three by four uh, five by four uh flat lay art journal and what i'm doing right now is um, i have this old textbook from some novel which was gathering dust so um, taking that page and sticking it down on the journal page using gesso a uh, water down gesso you're using gesso because it's uh, it's a very good uh, adhesive and yet when used properly with water it still shows the texture uh, of the um, base layer so once that's done i'm moving on to adding some color to my page uh, when uh, i was trying this thing mixing gesso with the uh, distress oxide I simply forget <laughs> what I wanted to do and end up putting color at a place where I should not and they, from there onwards the whole design uh, which I had in mind changed to the mood of the art journal. <laughs> so I went ahead with uh, what I have done and uh, uh, I covered a sort of a uh, a border on both the pages with uh, this mix of gesso and oxide spray and once that's done um, I used a wet wipe and uh, smoothen up the uh, smoothen the color um, this is uh, uh <laughs> uh, experiment which I did on a silicon mold um, so I had recently got very intrigued with silicon mold and I wanted to try it on my art journal but um, I was not into resin or clay so I figured uh, what's the harm in using PVA glue so I used the PVA glue and well it sort of worked as per what I wanted. So once uh, I have decided the position of where I want to keep this mold texture, silicon mold texture uh, items, um, I use matte medium to glue them down. Do make sure to put a good pressure on this uh, texture, molded texture because uh, you'll see <laughs> so once the texture is uh, dried and stuck to the page I moved on to giving some definition or uh, color to it uh, and I'm using fossilized amber oxide spray I thought of deciding to first use uh, a few drops of it and uh, uh, wet brush but uh, it was not giving me the kind of result I wanted so I moved on to using the spray as a spray <laughs> and that mm, seemed to do the work for me I am finding this mold textures very convenient and easy to use because I can make a lot 
of these textures in advance and store them which is not possible with mold texture paste or modeling paste but yes each of them has their own use and should be used according to the mood so once uh, the distress oxide fossilized amber was dried i felt that um, the texture needed more crispness so i added walnut stain on top of it using my finger so what i was saying about uh, pressing them firmly is where my watch was not uh, pressed firmly when i was using the matte medium so the water uh, was seeping inside and when i put pressure using walnut stain it it came out uh, due to the pressure so i have to do a lot of uh, cleaning and drying once everything is uh, done i am moving on to adding more uh, vi visual texture to the page uh, using some stamps from my stash I felt like the page needed a pop of color so I used Big Raspberry Distress Ink and added some splashes. So this is the quote for today, dwell in possibility and I, it was getting lost in the background so I added some ephemera to go uh, along with it and what I'm right now doing is trying to audition a few of the ephemera pieces and see uh, how it goes. Um, next time I will definitely going to try uh, using these uh, mold textures on a bigger bigger art journal. I felt that uh, my <laughs> small art journal got very crowded. So once I am happy with uh, the auditioning I am uh, going to give definition to the ephemera pieces using archival ink jet black So um, I wanted to stuck this uh, quote from the middle and there was some struggle. Eventually I realized that I have to leave some of the paper a little loose for it to uh, not break from the middle. So on to my favorite part of the art journal. I'm just defining all the elements on the page using a charcoal pencil. So I really like uh, using more uh, I will be using more of this silicon uh, mold textures in my upcoming art journal I'm quite intrigued by it <laughs> so that's it guys uh, this is 
this is the page and here it is in the focus I really love all the texture which is coming the textbook page uh, in the background and how the musical notes are gelling well with it along with the half ton dots and um, this silicon texture is giving silicon mold texture is giving a very vintage kind of look along with all the colors and the pink splatters so that's it guys thank you for watching do like subscribe and share with friends i'll see you in the next video bye for now